water signifies life. Water also is used many times in scripture, referring to Jesus as the water of everlasting life for those who thirst. And so the need for a relationship with God is just as vital to our bodies as the liquid water. My name is Ted Vandersalm. As a young man, I, I went to Africa straight from university by an invite from Italian missionaries, and, and they simply said, Ted, trust in God, just come. And that's when scriptures came alive for me. My wife and I, we had 10 years of experience drilling water wells in Africa. When we were made aware of the desperate need for water here in the mountain region of Santa Maria Jalapa in Guatemala, Dirty, contaminated, bacteria-infested water is the largest killer of, of children around the world. And then the women have such, such difficult lives. Many of their backs, their spines are just S-bent because of, of this constant walking for water. They will walk an hour one way down a mountain, scoop up this water, then walk up a steep mountain slope that would even challenge a billy goat just to get dirty water. So it has a very negative impact on the whole community. Un grado que donde tomaban esa agua ellos se enfermaban y muchos niños causó de una ronchera, ronchas y ellos muchos niños murieron por causa del agua sucia que tomaban. Antes que viniera el proyecto sufrimos mucho, en pozo mucha basura. Y llegaban perros y pasaban tomando agua, animales, cualquier animal, este, muy sucia el agua. ¿Y cuántas veces por día tiene, hay tenido que caminar por tu agua? Este diario, dos viajes por la mañana y dos por la tarde. We began Wells of Hope because we are all called to love our neighbor as ourselves. And this power of love is so incredible that the seemingly impossible does become possible. People who turn to Wells of Hope as their only hope, that's not anybody, that's Jesus Christ at the gate. How are you going to respond? Cuando Mosé estaba caminando en el desierto con su gente, ¿qué problema más grande han tenido ellos? Sed, a pidiendo a Dios, ayúdeme. Dios mandó a nosotros aquí para romper la piedra. Y hoy ustedes van a ver el agua que ustedes mismos van a tomar. Every household will have a tap at their front door. The women will never have to walk for water again, and the people can grow their own food. It becomes a very sustainable system. The benefits, the list is endless, it goes on and on. Fraternity and charity really drew me to the Knights of Columbus. The Knights was set up to help the widows, to help struggling women, and we've copied that desire within Wells of Hope. I feel truly the spirit of the Knights of Columbus when we help someone like Susanna. Her daughter was abandoned uh, by her husband and left two children behind. Susanna saves four to eight hours a day now that she has water at her home so she can take care of her kids so much better. Her own health has greatly improved because she's not hauling all that weight up and down the mountainside. Gracias a Dios que está el pozo, nos ayudamos bastante, bastante. Agua limpia, tenemos para lavar, para tomar, para todo. Ever since I had the courage to step out of my comfort zone and to trust in God and really say, here I am, Lord, do with me whatever you will. For me, that's when I actually saw scripture come alive before my eyes. The real heroes that humble me to the core every single solitary day is the poor that we serve. The sacrifices that so many women in the mountains make, they are true heroes in my book.